What, what does a test archetype do? <laughs> we are not controlling quality. We are not controlling bugs, but we are engineering for better quality. We are engineering for better mm -hmm. customer experience. For anybody considering quality engineering as a career, um, one thing I would recommend is understand the product better. Being a prevalent attitude that quality engineer, engineers are kind of second class citizens, but um, I see the trend changing in the positive direction, mm -hmm. and at least in my current and previous jobs, I didn't see that happen. Hi, this is Flora, and today I have Pushkala with me. She is a quality engineer, and, and we're going to talk about quality engineer and software development. I'm a test architect at OpenGA, mm -hmm. and um, I'm passionate about quality in software engineering, and okay. that's what I do day in, day out. Why do you choose quality? So quality is a very interesting paradigm in software development. Mm -hmm. um, anything and everything that our developers and our designers mm -hmm. and our product managers visualize, we are the last final frontier before it goes out to the okay. hands of our customers. Uh, we engineer quality into products, so we are not controlling quality, we are not controlling bugs, but we are engineering for better quality, we are engineering for better mm -hmm. customer experience. There are different kinds of quality engineering. Mm -hmm. um, you have black box testers who are purely on um, UI based. They, mm -hmm. they test based on what is the functionality, um, what needs to be done. Then you have like white box testers who test uh, for the code underneath. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have gray box testing. There are different paradigms to it. But in general, if I have to um, classify everything into two buckets, one would be like a backend testing okay. where they understand the backend and they're able to automate. And then you have front end or QA uh, analyst kind of people who test for the business functionality, they develop domain knowledge, mm -hmm. um, they, they are more customer oriented and they do uh, at times do UI automation. So th these are kind of the general two buckets. For anybody considering quality engineering as a career, um, one thing I would recommend is understand the product better, mm -hmm. develop empathy for customer. That okay. is the first thing. Mm -hmm. um, Whatever the product you choose, it can be as simple as testing a search engine um, to, you know, testing a complex algorithm. You know who the customer is, know mm -hmm. what they expect, and then understand the data models. It's not always um, what is what what is in is what is out approach, but understanding what is inside the whole. Have an inquisitive mind. Okay. Yes, there has been a prevalent attitude that quality engineer, engineers are kind of second class citizens. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm happy to um, be in the midst of it and even report that it's changing. Mm -hmm. At least my current job and my recent jobs, um, we did not have that attitude towards quality engineers. Um, they have as much say um, in everything mm -hmm. from design to development to delivery. And um, that attitude is changing and half of it comes from um, the culture of the company too. Mm -hmm. We should be, be it a quality engineer or a, a designer or whoever it is. Um, employees should feel empowered and accountable for whatever they do and that kind of brings in the pride of ownership and uh, mutual respect. So it's a cultural aspect and um, you're right that was something that even I went through years ago, but um, I see the trend changing in the positive direction. Mm -hmm. And at least in my current and previous jobs, I didn't see that happen. So okay. it's definitely um, moving in the right direction. Now. It kind of aligned with my career goals and where I wanted to go with okay. my career. Um, I always dreamt about turning into an entrepreneur someday okay. in my career. Um, but it's not going to be an easy path, right? Like you need to understand um, the ups and downs of um, a product life cycle, how things are done, how things should not be done, mm -hmm. um, how, how are small decisions um, impactful, how are big decisions impactful. Okay. You need to understand the whole dynamics that goes behind delivering a product. Um, being a developer, at least my initial um, experience, I was very confined to a particular feature. Mm -hmm. um, it did not give me the full um, experience that I was longing for that would help me align with my long-term goals. Mm -hmm. But being in quality engineering, it gave me that scope um, and perspective to understand um, my customers, mm -hmm. my build process, and it, it was just natural fit for me to um, understand how things line up mm -hmm. in my pursuit of my long-term goal.
just you just touch on one point that I really wanted to ask, which is the the career path of each role. Right. And then I know you are currently a test architect. That's right. So what what does a test architect do? So I started my career as an intern and then、um, made my way through、um, software quality.、Mm-hmm. Um, and today, yes, I'm a test architect.、Um, what what does a test architect do?、Um, To me, the main role of test architect is to、um, make sure that the direction in which our、uh, quality engineering is going、mm-hmm. is aligned with the direction in which our our, our product and our company is going.、Mm-hmm. What do I mean by that?、Um, testing, as you said, like we have different kinds of testing.、Um, we can choose one or the other part, or we can choose a combination of these to get to a destination, which is like a bug free or an Um, a product with optimal quality that meets optimal quality standards.、Mm-hmm. What are those standards?、Uh, how do we reach there? What is it that needs to go on,、um, go in, and、um, to enable teams to reach that standards? OpenGov is a cloud-based、um, company that provides software for、um, budgeting, reporting, and open data for、uh, for effective governments. So you can think of OpenGov as a vendor that our governments would use to handle their budget and financial needs.、Okay. It's got amazing culture.、Uh, okay. um, culture-wise,、um, it's a very、uh, open, transparent organization.、Um, you have opportunities to learn and grow.、Um, it's got.、Um, An environment where people really care, and you will get constant mentorship. No matter what your role is, you can be a beginner, entry level intern, to you can be a senior engineer, you can be an architect. There is always constant feedback loop and、um, support mechanism to enable you elevate your standards, not just your role but even your thinking. It, it, there is constant mentorship. In OpenGov, we are all proud about is we do what we、mm-hmm. say we will do. So the person has to be accountable and dependable,、okay. and it's a very um, humble um, set of folks. Like、okay. nobody thinks too much about themselves. So it's very、um, humble crew. So we would like to have some more humble people. So come、yeah. check out, check out our culture, and maybe you like it. <laughs>、okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by today. <laughs>